Good morning, everybody. Dr. Anita here. You're riding in the car with the Cairo. So this week's episode, I want to talk to you about some of the things that came up in the last week, uh, which is very common this time of year, uh, the end of December, the beginning of January, where people in my practice are renewing their commitment to their health. And this is where we talk about, that was weird, um, we talk about how to maintain your health so that your body doesn't crash and burn and you don't go backwards, back where your back is hurting, your neck is hurting, you're having numbness and tingling down your arms and hands and you're not being at your very best, right? So we, I like to call it wellness care or vitality care. And there's so many reasons why people choose that. So, and, and all age ranges actually do it. So let's talk about a couple of them. So I have a young athlete who came in because of uh, injuries while uh, training. Um, he has the potential for a uh, very high collegiate and possibly semi-pro to pro uh, sports in his very near future. And so he was struggling uh, when he was training and having repetitive injury. And so um, we got him out of pain fairly quickly because he's young and athletic and all that. But more importantly, he's interested and concerned about, well, what's this going to look like? Am I going to keep injuring myself? Hey, Luann, welcome. Am I going to keep injuring myself? And what do I do so I don't keep injuring myself? So we had a discussion because we got him through the crisis care. I like to call it corrective care, where I actually corrected the problem that he came in with. And we, we sat down and came up with a game plan on nutrition, hydration, uh, supplementation, and the fact that chiropractic care is going to be essential in order for his body to work at its very best. And from an athlete's perspective, all professional athletes, almost all of them, have chiropractors uh, in their back pockets. All the professional football teams at the Olympics, uh, um, Michael Phelps, that amazing swimmer, they all have chiropractors. So there's a reason why you maintain your health, just like eating right, exercising. I just got off my bike, um, doing a Peloton class. There are reasons and choices that you get to make for your overall health and well-being. And then I think about the pregnant mama who has uh, two little kids at home. She's about to have another little kid join her in the summertime. Um, she's trying to manage the house and, and the pregnancy, and she's got pregnancy pain. And so very easy for us as chiropractors to help pregnant ladies with their back pain, especially in the beginning part of pregnancy. But as she progresses along in the pregnancy, she's going to get bigger. Her ligaments are going to become lax and she's going to have more challenges with that. So once we correct what we initially set out to correct, then we got to talk about what we can do to ma actually maintain her so that she can complete her pregnancy successfully and delivery, having it very uneventful and stress-free, along with maintaining her well-being as she's managing her newborn and her toddler and her four or five-year-old, as well as managing the house with her husband and everything else. So it's very important that we talk about how we manage that so that she can be as healthy as possible. And what's interesting is she came into my practice because her husband came in with back pain and it was resolved very quickly. And then he transitioned over to wellness care. And she's like, I don't understand how you didn't get any colds o over the fall. You always get colds, your sinus infections, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, well, I'm a chiropractor. I'm seeing Dr. Anita, right? And uh, their uh, youngest one currently, the toddler, was brought in after he was born because he was very colicky. And we were able to help resolve that issue in a matter of a couple of weeks with adjustments. So wellness care is a, is a lifestyle choice for people who want to be as healthy as they uh, want to be, right? Um, and then I think of the gentleman yesterday, one of my seniors. We, we corrected his spine as best we could, right? He's, he's riddled with arthritis um, and has difficulty with walking. And we reflected back to his first day when he came in where he could barely walk from his car to the front door. He had to stop at the front door and hold the door and then walk from the front door to the counter, hold the counter, and then go from the counter to a chair. I mean, that's how bad he was with a walker. And uh, now he, he doesn't even use a cane. And uh, he... I. I we looked at his reevaluations, and it's amazing how his posture has changed dramatically. While we didn't do a lot of correction in his spine because of the arthritic changes, his quality of life is so much different. He has no physical pain in his body as a result of months of chiropractic care, correction as best we can. 
So when I presented to him talking about vitality or wellness care, I said, listen, the only way I can help you continue to be at your very best is we got to check in on you every now and again. And that every now and again has to be like, let's try every other week. Because research shows that if you get your spine checked less than every other week, if you already have arthritis in your spine, your spine will continue to become more arthritic, meaning it will progress. The arthritis will progress even though you've corrected the pain problem that you presented with initially. So it's never a good idea to go beyond a week or two without a chiropractic checkup because if there's any form of arthritis in your spine, it will continue to progress further. So vitality or wellness chiropractic care is a way of managing your body so it can be at its very best in spite of all the stressors that we experience every day. If you watch mainstream media news, you're stressed out because I know I get stressed out if I flick on the, 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 that boob tube. Um, the stressors of home life. If you're a mom and you're doing this uh, homeschooling and you weren't designed to be doing homeschooling and you're trying to balance work and family life and cooking and your kid don't want to do school and, and their, their grades have dropped. I have many patients whose kids uh, were A students and, and they're barely passing at this point. The stressors involved with the mental and emotional well-being of your children, the mental and emotional well-being of you worrying about your kid as you leave off to work and you leave your kid at home, teenager, at home to do whatever they're supposed to do when they're talking about why do I even exist you know statements like that can can certainly rattle a parent's cage and you're scared to death to leave your home but you have to because you need to pay for the food and the rent and the mortgage or whatever it is you got to pay all those bills and you can't do that if you're home homeschooling your kid but yet you have to be a mom and, and, or, and a dad and you're worried to death about the well-being of your kid who's floundering and 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 crashing and burning because of this uh, homeschooling situation because his identity is not being addressed because he's at home and he's not with his friends and not living a quote unquote normal life. When are we going to get out of this? I mean, uh, the, uh, our governor here in New Jersey has just signed another 30 day executive order. I don't understand. Uh, can he redo this every 30 days? I, I don't understand it. Um, the states that are um, open and free have less cases than the states that are closed. So maybe we should be looking at them. Why, why are we continuing on this path of crazy lunacy? I don't understand. But let's get back to uh, wellness care because that's really what it's about. You need to make sure that you're eating right. McDonald's, I don't care how cheap it may be, it's not nutritious, right? You need to make sure that you're moving your body. If you're stuck at home because your job has, has either ended or you're stuck at home because your job won't let you come to work and you're stuck at a computer all day, you got to do some exercising. You got to implement some kind of movement in your body and you got to get up from that desk and that PC or that laptop, right? And you also need to make sure that your nervous system is being managed. Who's managing your nerve system? Your nervous system is your life system. Right? Are you taking are you taking your supplements? I know every morning I take my supplements. I got the old dog there. Say hi Leah. Hey Leah. Um I've got her on supplements. She's suffering with a little bit of arthritis. I don't know that she's suffering with pain, but she's having trouble getting in and out of the car and, and things like that. So I've got her taking a supplement twice a day. And, you know, lo and behold, I found something that's really wonderful and she actually likes it. So she's super excited when I say let's take your vitamins and she's jumping on board real quickly to do that. <clears throat> and uh, I am checking her spine. Why? Because her spine and nervous system controls every function in her body. And as long as her spine and nervous system is working right, her body's going to perform at its best. I just got off my Peloton. I just took my vitamins. And uh, after we do this uh, riding in the uh, car with the Cairo, I'm on my way. Hey, Ronnie, I'm on my way to the chiropractor to get my spine tuned up. There are lots of folks out there, all age ranges, that choose to maintain their spine through chiropractic. Why? Because it's a hell of a lot cheaper to maintain your spine than it is to go to crisis care, where you have to come in three times a week. As much as you don't want to do it, I don't want to see you three times a week. Really. Not because I don't like you. I'm not talking to you, Ronnie. Um, but because it's better and cheaper for you to be as healthy as possible than it is to go through crisis care and crisis care and crisis care. And why not invest in your health so that your body is working the way it's designed to and you're less likely going to break down and get sick? That doesn't mean you're never going to get sick. Yes, I've had many people in my practice get COVID. It's interesting. It's very interesting. The majority that have gotten COVID in my practice 
were, were real constant mask wearing folk. Very fearful mask wearing people. It's very interesting to me that those are the ones. I have some nurses that come in and when they are not at work, they will not put on a mask for anything except to run into the grocery store because you have to. Or the liquor store because they need the liquor store, right? Um, and they're not getting it. And they're getting tested. Some of them are getting tested every other day, depending upon the facility that they work at and getting their brains scraped. Uh, you know, this is, this is craziness. But they're healthy. And the only difference between them and all the other nurses in their facility that are coming up positive and getting sick with COVID is they're getting their spines checked on a regular basis. They are maintaining their health through chiropractic by having their spine and nervous system checked every single week. Those nurses, they need it every single week. It's absolutely necessary for our nurses to have their nervous system performing. Hey, Deb, you're one of them having their nervous system work as best they can so that they can handle the stressors of what they're experiencing in those hospitals and uh, nursing facilities, right? It is very stressful to be in a position as a healthcare provider and feel like your hands are tied and there's no more that you can do to help these folks out. It's scary as hell. And that stress, they carry with them. They are not removed. And if a nurse is cranky, it's because they've been through hell prior to them seeing you. They come in my office sometimes and I see it in their face. They're drained. A year ago, March, nurses were coming into my practice. They were gray, as gray as my jacket from the things that they saw. Thankfully, we now have three solid drug protocols out there that actually are extremely effective in fighting this virus. Extremely effective, like in the 90 plus percentiles the doctors in other states, because New Jersey won't allow doctors to prescribe it unless you're in the hospital, which is absurd to me. And I don't understand why. I don't know if it's politics or what. I don't know, but it's wrong, in my opinion. And they go to these medic clinics and get diagnosed. They already know they got it because their spouse, their kid, whatever, had it. They've got the symptoms, the classic of the loss of uh, taste and smell, right? And they're, they're running a fever and things like that. And they're told to go home and rest and hydrate. Well, that's common sense. How about giving them some of the drug protocols that are out there? Yes, I'm a chiropractor talking about drug protocols that actually freaking work. And that will reduce their symptomatology drastically in two to three days on the high side. You're literally knocking on misery's door and you take these drug protocols and I'm not going to label them. And guess what? You get symptomatically reduced dramatically in two to three days. There's something behind that. It's effective. Medicine does work. So why aren't we allowed to use it in the state of New Jersey? There are other states where they are using it and people aren't having the uh, hospitalizations that we do have in New Jersey. What's that tell you? We're doing something wrong. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is. Um, but I do know that if we had access to that drug treatment from doctors, hey, Darlene, from doctors over the counter or prescription by them going to the doc in the box med medical centers, less people would be getting sick because they wouldn't be symptomatic and spreading it. Spreading it, right? And wellness chiropractic care will allow your body to perform at its very best so that if you are exposed, you're more likely not to get it. You can be exposed and not get it and not test positive. I'm telling you as a chiropractor, I've been uh, considered essential, whatever that means, because everybody who provides for their family, in my opinion, is essential. And I've been practicing the entire time. And people who came into my practice didn't know they had corona. And then all of a sudden, a few days later, got corona. We didn't see them for a week to 10 days. And then we find out they did have corona. Sometimes they were too sick to call us to let us know. So we were exposed and we didn't know. And they didn't get it from my office because they always are able to trace it back to some other incident, most of the time from their work environments. So-and-so came into work, they weren't feeling well, and then they finally got tested and admitted that day they weren't feeling well. People, if you don't feel well, whether it's COVID or the regular flu, stay the hell home. And once those symptoms reside, if you're not under regular chiropractic care, you need to consider getting chiropractic in your life so that you can be as healthy as you're destined to be. So my talk today is really about getting your spine and nervous system checked on some kind of regular basis by a chiropractor, 
Once you get out of whatever crisis that is that brings you through our doors, then you need to not stop, but continue to get your spine and nervous system checked on a regular basis, whether it's weekly or biweekly. It depends on your needs and what works best for you. I go every single week. I'm going there right now to see my chiropractor and get my tune up. I hope you will do the same. For those of you that inspired me to have this talk, Ron, you're one of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for inspiring me and holding up that health and wellness in your body by keeping yourself checked on a regular basis. I really love and appreciate all of you that come into my practice on a regular basis. I have folks coming to me for 10, 15, 20, 25 plus years. That's right, 25 plus years getting their spine and nervous system checked. Why? Because they very rarely wind up in the medical doctor's office. Nothing wrong with medical doctors, but they're there for crisis. And if we can keep you from crisis, you're gonna be a healthier, happier, more positive, contributing person to your family and to our society because you're not out spreading the woo-woo, whatever that is. Call it what you want. Thanks for being with me today. You've been riding in the car with the Cairo. I'll see you on the next ride. Have a fabulous Thursday.